What's up YouTube? What's cool? What's crazy? What's happening? It's time for live. Love after lockup. We're going to review another one. This one is going to be very interesting because it's a new couple, Heather and Dylan. Okay, so it starts off by saying Heather's fiance on the phone, Dylan, Heather's fiance. So that means these people are already these people are already engaged in some lingerie store and she's asking him like what should i buy heather over here is a chameleon they have showed so many different pictures and none of them look like they're the same person <laughs> which is very interesting i mean it's good to be versatile and all but wow different hair shades just different looks all together you know what's interesting she's in this lingerie store and she's like what do you want me to wear and he's like something that's barely there or whatever and she's like i like fishnets blah 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 and you can see her kind of whispering into the phone because the phone obviously has to be on loudspeaker so that the camera crew and all that can pick up whatever it is dylan is saying this i don't know how these people feel comfortable and totally ignore the cameras are there and live their their normal lives and start disclosing things and doing things all out in public because imagine other people in the store this is like you know it's super anti-social when you you're out in public and you put your phone on on loud but yeah she's doing it she's got it because we, we need we need that tv I met Dylan at this party at his apartment. One of my friends was really close with Dylan. I went to the bathroom and he was in the shower and he was just like, what the f He opened the curtain and peeked his head out and it was me. I'm so confused. How do you go to somebody's house? When somebody's taking a shower, obviously you can visibly see this. There's steam coming from everywhere. There, first of all, there's a curtain drawn, like uh, who, who or what is behind there? You know somebody's having a shower and you just randomly go to the bathroom to do what? Did she go to pee? Did she go to do her makeup? Like what did she do in there? Did she go to get away from the party for a little bit? Like I'm even so confused how this ever happened. And yes, I can understand him being like, what the heck? And then it was her. And so that's when the sparks flew. I'm so confused how people are meeting people these days. But anyway, this would indicate to me that she knew Dylan before he went into prison. So what, what, what happened? So a few weeks after meeting Dylan, this weird meeting in the bathroom, he gets caught for selling ecstasy to an undercover cop and goes to jail. What? So apparently Dylan has been in prison for five years. Heather is kind of funny. She's talking to this random woman and she's like, do you want to see a picture? I know you do. I know you do. And she's throwing a picture of Dylan. She's She's got such a quirky personality. Dylan's going home from prison tomorrow. I'm so excited. <laughs> she's waited for him for five good years. I don't think people understand. Five years, okay? Five years is half of a decade. No matter if you're 25 and you wait till you're 30, no matter if you're 20 and you wait till you're 35, till you're 25, no matter if you're 37 and you wait till you're 42, like, it's half a decade. That, that's, that's a long, periodically time to be waiting for somebody who is always up to no good. And you know this from all these mock shots. Very excited. <laughs> and then she gets her lingerie and walks out of the shop after telling her whole life story to this unassuming woman who's selling the lingerie and she's super excited i wonder about these confessionals i think what they do they get them to go back into these confessionals and do their makeup and hair exactly the same every single time they go back there because i think it can't be that they just sit there in one go and then start you know then start talking about all their experiences it's like if they're shooting this for two months, I don't know, two months, they will bring them in to do a confessional a few times in those two months. I don't know. I don't know how this works. Or is it after the whole thing is said and done? Because the confessionals, their emotions are so raw and so real that it would indicate to me, and I've read this somewhere, that they keep getting them in there. And if they've cut their hair, they'll give them, you know, and, and actually before they had long hair, They'll give them like a wig to look like how their hair was before so that the confessionals just look like the same person and we can see like heather is such a chameleon like if they kept putting her in there with different kind of fashion variables of herself i wouldn't know who's speaking okay obviously her name would be under there but it would still be kind of difficult to follow so yeah i don't know because in the confessionals she has got long hair but here we're seeing her with short hair 
also he's fist bumping the lady which means this is not during Corota. I don't have much to say about Dylan and Heather I just want to see them together and see what will happen between the two of them because five years this lady waited for him that's real dedication not like you're already his wife not like he's proven that he can be faithful not that he's proven that he can stay out of trouble nope you're yet to find out and we're yet to find out with you this is going to be a very interesting one i'm interested to see how that one pans out but for now if you're not already part of the family make sure you hit the bump stop as well as that subscribe button comment because i really want to know what you think about the situation like because you obviously like this video and hit the notification bell while you're at it i'll see you in the next video which will be tomorrow and some other videos here and there i don't do only love after lockup reviews i do a whole lot more commentary and a whole lot this is a lifestyle channel we do everything up here whatever you do make time for glorious life it's time to start what living it right god bless oh yeah see you tomorrow we'll be reviewing another couple tomorrow